a Royals regatta in Auckland, major regatta in Mexico. You're watching the Selling Updates Desktop News. Welcome to the office. The new chess of Cambridge is the reigning champion following a marathon battle with her husband in New Zealand. The Royals were invited to skip a Team New Zealand America's Cup boat for a two races shootout. A huge crowd is lining vantage points to first welcome the Royal couple and then to witness the match racing held on a tight course outside the Royal New Zealand Yacht Squadron. I was last out with Prince William sailing and he made the comment last time that uh, the, the Duchess would be very envious of the fact that he'd been sailing as she's sort of a, a keen sailor and from what I hear there's sort of, uh, the competition is going to be uh, pretty key today so yeah, looking forward to getting into it. The Royals arrive at the Emirates Team New Zealand base under torrential rain to be introduced to their tacticians. Yeah, it looks like we've got the better crew actually as far as I can tell. I just put the word, I just uh, said to the, the Duke that uh, the word we've been given was to let the uh, Princess win. A couple of hours later, the truth is, he might be the future king, but Prince William is forced to admit defeat at the hands of his wife. <laughs> I just want a quiet I'm sorry. night. I want a quiet night. Well done, well done. Well done. This is good, yeah. A bit hard work. Get a slight speed advantage. We were sabotaged. We were just uh, following the protocol handed down from the uh, from the palace a couple of days ago that the princess had to win, and I thought we carried that off quite well, actually. Whatever Grant is pretending with America's Cup racing, it's all about the start. And that's where the Duchess got the edge. I just tried to make sure we didn't crash into them. That was sort of the, the first thing. But no, we had a, had a uh, second race was really good. It was really close and it was, um, and she was right into it. Earlier, and on board the luxury boat Imagine, Kate and Williams were presented to their respective crews. A mixture of Emirates Team New Zealand members and up-and-coming young sailors. It's a real honour, like, I'll be able to tell my kids when I'm older how I met um, the Duchess and things and sail alongside her, which will be pretty cool. The Duchess has spent time crewing around the world boats in the past and she's also said to be a huge fan of New Zealand efforts to win the America's Cup. So today she came not just as a royal, but as a fan. Team Duke is with Grand Dalton. Team Duchess is with another selling hero, Dean Barker. Two races, Kate's boat dominates her husband in both and walks away with a lovely victory. Something happened with the boat and she shouted excuses, excuses to William. She thinks it could be a little quiet in Wellington tonight, so yeah. So perhaps there is no future in sailing for the Duke of Cambridge. Yeah, I'm not sure we can afford them though, it might be a bit expensive, the insurance would definitely be a killer. But a rematch could be on the cards. Free George next time. A promise to return to the water, but for now Catherine leaves Auckland, the reigning queen of the sea. This Royals report was brought to you in collaboration with Ruth Wynne Williams from TV1 News and Emirates Team New Zealand. Special thanks to both of them. We go back to Mexico, this time in the state of Narayit on the Pacific Ocean for the Dinghy Wemax International Regatta. In its ninth edition, it is one of four major regatta of the Mexican circuit who qualifier for the World Championships. In laser standard, the qualification goes to the young prodigy Yannick Gentry, winner of eight races. In the Rachel, the battle remains uncertain and it eventually goes to Hugh McRae in the last race. The young sisters Camila and Casilda Forrest win in the 420 class with a comfortable lead of 12 points. In Optimists, the largest fleet is dominated by two young guns and Andres Dominic Peralta's overall victory is eventually decided in the final race. A spectacular closing ceremony takes place in front of the Paradise Village Amphitheater near the golf course. Rendezvous next week, same time, same place. Until then, goodbye and fair sailing.